Darren, we'll start with obviously the disappointment of the other, other night. It's certainly not an ideal situation, but we have to sort of move on from that now, I guess. Yeah, we do. It was it was disappointing. I felt I felt frustrated. I felt slightly embarrassed as well, if I'm being honest. You know, um, I'm aware of Farsley and their situation and them having to book time off work and what have you. They they on the night they didn't even have enough to fill the bench because of work commitments to their to their players. So I understand the difficulties and the frustrations that they went through. Um, you know, sorry doesn't necessarily change anything, but you know, I, I, I felt the need to apologise. I went into their change room and made sure that, you know, I shook every player's hand and just said, look, can only apologise. Um, you know, the pitch was unfit to play. Now, you know, the weather meant that it had, it had frozen over in the in the goal mouth area and it was too dangerous to play. So they're the facts. Could we have maybe done more and better to prevent it? Maybe, but at the end of the day, it was a bitterly cold evening and the, and the pitch froze over. But, you know, it was a, a really unfortunate circumstances and I felt terribly sorry for them to, to make that trip and, and their fans that come down and... and win, lose or draw, didn't get to see a football match. So, you know, I, I, we all went home frustrated. I understand our fans are frustrated as well. Um, but again, it's something we have to deal with and I hope it doesn't linger around for too long. You know, there's there's only so much can be done. We need to turn the page, move on and, and look forward to our next game now, which is obviously Bromley. Some more positive news since then we've brought in Xander McBurney. How, how's he settling in with the boys? Yeah, he settled in really well. He's a good lad. Um, he really enjoys being around the players. Um, what you tend to see with with players is, you know, certainly new signings and that how quickly they settle is is a reflection of the sort of banter that goes on on the training pitch, how they learn about each other quickly and that. And in that respect, you know, he's he's settled in really well. Lads have made him feel welcome, and he's he's looking neat and tidy in in his training. So, you know, this is this is a boy that. You know, we we've got high hopes for. He's another another young boy, relatively inexperienced, but one that we believe there's a player in there, and it's our job to to get that player out of him. We face Bromley tomorrow, who are flying high at the top of the league. Haven't they've lost their last two? Is this a good time to play them? I didn't even know that. If I'm being honest, I don't I, I don't I don't look at it and think that that's an advantage or disadvantage. You know, I. I tend to feel that teams raise their levels when they play against us. They see us as a big scalp. Um, and I think every game we play in, even the ones that we've won fairly comfortable, they're always difficult. They're, they're always difficult. Now we've got, you know, um, obviously the, the 4G surface. We've got a, a big side with one or two new faces in there. So really difficult game. The fact that they're flying high, the fact that they've lost the last couple doesn't change our approach to the game we've prepared for it we're obviously not at a game for for a period of time so I'm hoping everyone's enthusiasm and intensity levels energy levels will play out in the game because they've they've missed kicking the ball around together so that's how we've approached the game we're we're, we're ready and we're looking forward to the game obviously we've brought in Zander over the last couple of days is there any updates on then potentially any more in coming? Yeah, I mean, I thought I had one last night. It's not dead in the water just yet, but I thought I, I, I had one last night, so I'd have been very happy doing this interview if, if it had have all gone through. Um, like I say, it's not dead. I'm still excited by the prospect of this boy joining us, um, but there's still one or two things that need to be ironed out, but we're very close. I just... I'm trying to keep a lid on it because things change quickly in football but this boy will be if we can get him over the line he'll be he'll be a terrific signing for us